for what's up scrappy peeps it's Adele from Inky Quill and I think it's part 10 I've lost count I've got baby brain and I've lost count but I think we're up to part 10 of my Inky chat Q&A series thing that I'm doing answering your questions so this might be the last one if I don't go on too many tangents maybe so let's get into it this is I've already answered questions on general scrapbooking on supplies on technology on mixed media and now this section is just kind of the miscellaneous questions there's some bunnies there's some Aaron there's some other paper crafts there's a few little bits and bobs so let's get started first question is from Sandra and she was talking about organizing a retreat I would love that I really really would um, my plan was before I got really sick with my pregnancy things in January to organize just a crop day um, like hire out a, a scout hall and have a little crop day but I would love to do retreats it's definitely something that I'll think of down the road um, and I'd also and like teach classes there and stuff um, I'm going to a someone else at my friend's retreat in July and teaching there which is fun um, but I'd really like to do my own I'd probably start with crop days because they're smaller <laughs> and more manageable um, and then one day I would love to do scrappy retreats so let me know in the comments would you would you come to a crop day if you were well first of all if you're a someone between Sydney and Newcastle I'm on the central coast would you come to a crop day because I'll do one definitely um, and one day I'd love to do retreats that would be fun next question is the next two about Aaron so Aaron's my husband if you don't if you're just tuning into this randomly um, and it says how did you and Aaron meet how did he propose where do you see yourself in five years ten years um, all of that stuff so Aaron and I were friends in high school um, I went to the all girls high school and he went to the all boys high school next door and Aaron went to boarding school um, in Bathurst which is like more inland from years 7 to 10 and then he moved to the Central Coast for years 11 and 12 um, we became friends in year 12 through mutual friends and so our mutual friends I had three girlfriends called Kelly Carr and Anna I'm gonna name you girls because it's because of you that we're together <laughs> so I had three friends called Kelly Carr and Anna I used to catch the bus with Kelly and Cara every day um, we met on the first day of year seven we were friends all through high school and we used to catch the bus Kelly Cara and then my bestie Karen that you know through all my scrapbooking about her um, so it was Kelly Cara and Karen and me on the bus they introduced me to their boy group that was from the other school they weren't dating them they were just friends um, which was Aaron and two of his mates Aaron actually went to the formal our year 12 formal with Cara as friends and um, and I went to the boys formal with another boy and there's actually a photo taken on the night of our year 12 formal which is like prom for Americans um, there's actually a photo of Kelly Carr and Anna myself and the three boys from Aaron and his two mates um, just lying on the floor just having fun and you know just laughing and giggling um, and that's our first official photo <laughs> together um, I we started both of us went straight to uni after high school finished um, we were friends and not not great mates but you know acquaintance kind of friends um, we were both dating other people and then Aaron worked at the local Woolworths at Woolies where his little brother now works <laughs> so the cycle I'm just waiting for it to happen to the little brother now to um, and I used to go and just you know chat to Aaron on the weekend when I did the grocery shopping just as friends and then um, I had I had a not very nice boyfriend who broke up with me because I had glandular fever and I couldn't go out clubbing anymore because that's important in life and so 
My girlfriends took me out clubbing. This sounds so it's cringeworthy. My girlfriends took me out clubbing for my first ever single clubbing night out because I'd been with the other the ex-boyfriend since before I was 18. Um, and so I went out. Can you hear that car? I went out for my first single night out ever. I'm just 18. It's going to be great. It's going to be fun. And I kissed Aaron. <laughs> and I only kissed Aaron because Kelly. And, I bumped into Kelly and Cara and Anna, and they asked me to stay for one more dance, and I did. And I danced with Aaron, and the rest is history. So um, that was my first and last ever night out on the town. <laughs> so we've been together now 10 years. Um, so we've been together since we were 18. And yeah, he's just the love of my life and I love him, I love him, I love him. We're both quite strange and very similar to each other so it, it works out well. Um, in five years time, I'd love for us to own our own home. Um, it's very expensive. The housing market here in Australia it's very hard to get into so I'd love to own a home um, or be working towards that I'd love to have two kids maybe um, and in 10 years time it would be amazing if Aaron and I could be working on our own business if we could have our own inky quill empire that would be the dream so that's that's a bit about Aaron waffling on a bit there Poppet. Poppet just nudged my foot out of the way because it was in her path. Obviously, she couldn't just walk around it. Another Aaron question. Um, how do you enlist Aaron in your scrappy shenanigans? And were you already a scrapper when you two met? So I wasn't a scrapper when we met. Uh, I used to paint, though, and draw, and I was very creative in other painting and drawing pretty much um, and he used to draw and paint as well so that was a common bond um, but how do I enlist him to help he genuinely he genuinely likes it like he's a very creative fella um, he has his own channel inky beard if you haven't looked at that already but he's yeah he's he's more he's very creative but it's a different creative which is nice that we kind of don't fight over the Heidi Shine and <laughs> and the newest crepe paper collections because I don't think I could deal with that um, but yeah he's always like drawing or creating animations and so he's creative but in a different way so I think um, he he likes to help because he likes to help I don't know and I I join in with his stuff and he shows me how to do things so he'll he loves showing me new apps to use like drawing apps and um, you know video editing and that kind of thing so I think we bounce off each other and just show interest in each other's hobbies I guess um, next two questions about scrapping full-time well I'm hoping this year's my trial this is my, <laughs> my trial year I was thinking, so I'm a primary school teacher, which is elementary, and last year, so 2016, I was getting to the point where I wasn't completely happy with teaching. Um, there's a lot of politics and things that go on that drive me nuts. They really do. I love the classroom. I love teaching kids. I love to individualize stuff to make sure that you're meeting their point of needs. But it's all of the, the paperwork, the politics, the hierarchy, all of that, it's, oh, it takes up a lot of time. Um, and it's all about who you know and who you want to suck up to to get permanency and to get in. And I'm not, I'm not that. I'm, <laughs> I'm really not that. So um, last year I was contemplating not going full time and going... Um, to casual like substitute teaching but I didn't because of income because it's not a consistent income and at that time Aaron wasn't I think that was when Aaron was getting messed around with some of his work things so we needed a consistent income and then last year when we decided to start trying for a baby 
um, I timed it so that it would work out if we got pregnant straight away, which thank God we did, it was amazing. Um, but I timed it so it would I'd be able to see out the school year and then, because our school year goes from January to December, um, so at very end of Jan. Um, so I'd be able to see out the school year. So this year is my, my trial to see if I can, if I can survive off classes and YouTube and things like that, I will continue to go inky quill full time forever. I'd be happy to do that. So it's all up to you guys and your support and your love. Um, and so far, I think it might be doable. So the next six months, not the next six months, but I'm filming in Feb. The next six months from here, I really won't be putting a lot into filming classes and things like that while I start, um, while baby Jimmy is just a newborn. But once we get into a routine, I've worked out that grandma and grandpa can babysit one day a fortnight and it should be enough time for me to, to work, um, to film. So hopefully, 2018 can be another year of inky quilling full time. Next up, um, let's see. Um, Pokemon Go app. Aaron and I were obsessed with the Pokemon Go app when it first came out. Not as much now, but I did love it when it first came out. Favourite character in Harry Potter. Mm. I do love Hermione. No, Ron. Ron, Ron, Ron. It's got to be Ron. I love Ron. I love his humour. I love his dopiness. I love Ron. Um, hate for green. I just have never liked green. I honestly don't know. Part of it is that I did feel I do feel like a bit of a carrot when I wear green. Emerald green's different, but if I wear light green, I just I don't know. I just don't like green. It's just a built-in <laughs> element. I don't know. Um, if I was a wizard, oh, and I could relate, oh, and I could invent one crafty spell, what would it be? Oh, I reckon maybe some instant Heidi shining or something, and I'd call it like Heidi's shiniest, something like that. <laughs> I think that would be my my spell. What would yours be, Elsie? Let me know. A um, couple of bunny questions just to wrap up. What breed are the bunnies? So Poppet, the brown one, is oh, uh, I know the name of it. I think it might be called a cinnamon, a cinnamon maybe. Um, it's just a, a very regular, a, not regular, common um, bunny breed. Frida is part Rex, which is why she's longer and skinnier. Um, do the bunnies eat the cardboard? Is it okay on their tummies? They eat a little bit of the cardboard, which is okay on their tummies. They don't eat giant amounts of the cardboard. Um, but they do eat a little bit and that's okay. It's okay in small doses. How did I get the bunnies? Um, why, how old are they? So I was a bit sneaky and we got the bunnies to avoid a loophole in our rental agreement because I, my 18 year old dog passed away three months before I moved out of home at 21. And it was devastating because I can't imagine, I can't remember life without her. I'm an only child and she was my, she was my sister. She even had red hair. She was a red cattle dog. We had matching hair and she was my everything. So when I moved out a few months later, we had a goldfish, which is great fun. Um, and it took about a year. Um, and our rental agreement said no cats or dogs but it didn't say anything about bunnies. So you can't pat a fish, right? And I have grown up always having a big fluffy dog, not fluffy, she wasn't fluffy, but a big dog to pat and cuddle. And I was really missing that. Um, and Aaron had, he had, a ki he had a cat at his mum um, and stepdad's house. And then at his dad's house, he had like a dog and a cat and other dogs. and. So we've always had pets and I was really lonely and I wanted a pet. So my best friend Karen had two boy bunnies 
and I hadn't met them yet but she was telling me about them um, and she sent me photos and told me all about them and I'd never I'd never had a pet bunny I'd never had a friend with a pet bunny up until Karen but I hadn't met her pet bunnies at that point um, and so we were we were talking about it for a while and umming and ahhing and then one day we went to the pet shop to buy fish food was it fish food or must have been fish food or maybe it was hermit crabs because I was having um, hermit crabs as my class pet and so we went to the pet shop and outside the pet shop there was a rescue an animal rescue that had set up a fundraiser kind of stall and they had everything they had guinea pigs and ducks and birds and bunnies and I fell in love with Poppet and I'll put a photo here if I can remember but this is the photo of me falling in love literally in the car park with Poppet and she was they claimed she was nine weeks but she totally wasn't she was about seven seven weeks if that legally they're not meant to be sold before eight weeks um, and the lady who ran who ran the rescue I didn't really like the feeling that I got from her she was I don't know she just she said that she like she kept the rabbits in a bathtub and I just I was a little concerned and I just fell in love with Poppet so much I couldn't give her back <laughs> so we got Poppet for a small donation so she's now five um, and is she five? no she must be six. she must be six she's five or six they live till about ten in captivity um, maybe even more if they're indoor which ours are and so we got Poppet and we broke the rules of the rental agreement but there weren't any rules about rabbits so it's okay and then a year later or close to a year later I was at the pet shop buying something for Poppet like hay or something and this little bunny climbed up on the side and I bent down and she started to try and lick me through the cage like uh, <laughs> so I put my finger in and she went crazy licking so then I asked the lady if I could hold her and I sent a photo to Aaron and I said so how do you feel about two bunnies <laughs> and that's how we got Frida so I'm I'm not really for buying from pet shops I much prefer to buy from rescues because there's so many bunnies out there that don't have homes and that get euthanized um, but I just fell head over heels for Frida so uh, I bought Frida that day and they were enemies they were sworn enemies for so long um, and it's only been probably two years that that if that that they've been friends so it took a while to bond them. If you want any more, if you have any more questions about bonding bunnies, let me know. Um, but it did take a while to make them be friends. And they still do, they, they, they squabble. Poppet wears the pants. Um, as you can tell, I've talked for the bunny, about the bunnies for five minutes. I love, I freaking love them. Um, and they're so intelligent. I didn't realize, like they come when they're called. Frida's not as, Frida's a bit more dim. But, uh, <laughs> but she still, she knows her name and they know, they know things they know when it's food time they know what different words mean around the house so I really do love the buns if you'd like to see another I did a day in the life of the bunnies which you'll be able to see on my channel if you search for it um, if you'd like to see another day in the life of the bunnies let me know because they've grown up a bit since then last question how did you housebreak them so does that mean toilet train I think um, are they a good pet to have if you have allergies? I'm not sure about the allergies. Aaron has really bad asthma and um, is slightly allergic to my parents' dog, but he doesn't have any issues with the bunnies. But they are, they do molt. So if you're allergic to pet hair, they do molt uh, quite a lot. Um, but how did we housebreak them? Basically, we just got a kitty litter tray and put it in when we first got Frida. She was in the bathroom our spare bathroom for a little while and for the first three days that we had her we'd go in every morning scoop up all of her, her poops um, and put them in the litter box and then any little little wee wee's that she did we soaked up with paper towel and put the paper towel 
in the litter box as well and it took about three days and then she got the hint and now they go in their litter boxes except when they get excited and sometimes boop, they do a <laughs> they do a little binky and they do a little excited poop um but the, it's nothing to to pick up with a tissue just one little poo um or they do protest poo sometimes. I think, well, why are we talking about poo, Adele? Why are we talking about poo? Sometimes, if they're really cranky, if we've moved a piece of furniture and they don't like it, they will purposely leave like three little poos where the furniture is now. Guaranteed. They're sneaky little buggers and they know, and they know how to press your buttons. So I'm gonna leave it on that note on um on on a bit of poop <laughs> and i think that's the end of our q a series so if there's any questions that i haven't answered please hit me up in the comments below and i might do one in another few months um but yes yeah, so thanks again for all your love and your support give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and i will see you all very very soon it's february while i'm filming this this one might not be out until spring. Trying to get ahead with videos, just a few, just because baby Toomey's going to change the system up. So happy winter or spring or wherever we are, who, who knows? Um, and I, yes, I'm, I might have some exciting news about classes and products and things by now, who knows? But I'll see you all in my next process video and if there's any other videos that you'd like to see more of let me know in the comments so i can get them from your mind into my mind all right i've filmed so many face-to-face -face videos today i think i need one little chocolate easter egg and i'm gonna go lie down on the couch for a little while and i'm gonna try and if i lie down no, he kung fu's even more when I lie down, but at least it's more comfortable to lie down. So I'm going to go do that. Stop talking, Adele. See you next time. Bye!